Hey guys, I'm sitting here in a um, 98 Expedition and I've been having some issues with it ever since I tried to switch out the GEM and I just wanted to know if anyone had any idea on what's going on. So, pretty much I replaced the GEM module um, and everything was fine. The reason I had replaced it was because the windshield wipers didn't work and the interior lights didn't work and the windows didn't work. That was it. So I went ahead and replaced the GEM module thinking that that would solve the issue and it solved that issue except now the car won't crank. So I sit here and I get nothing but a little beep and then the stereo system turns on and that's it. So I don't really know what to do. Um, I've tried putting the old GEM module back inside of the car. That didn't work. Um, I've swapped them out multiple times. Nothing seeming to happen. Also, something weird is that that light will turn on on the door panel, but whenever I hit the brake, I don't even have to push it down all the way. I just have to move it a little bit. It goes ahead and turns the light off. So, ready? All right, hitting the brake now. And off the brake, turns back on. So I don't know if that means anything or not. Also, just to reference it, um, I don't think it's the solenoid, which by the way, these wires, they had already been in here whenever I got the car and it was running fine. Um, so to show that it's not the starter solenoid, I'll go ahead and hook that up. Hooking up both the uh, leads. that's it it's it never fully cranks so I don't know what that means okay and here I have my multimeter which it's not completely set correctly uh, I don't know why but as you can see it's not plugged in I'm getting point 22 23 um so anyways if I take it over to this lead right here starter solenoid tell me I have voltage which I know that's really high um, but I think the multimeter is actually what's screwed up. And I went ahead and took that one off. I'm going to go ahead and crank the car and leave the camera here to show I'm not getting any voltage through that either. Okay, so if you have any solution on what I can do to fix this, let me know. And if there are any further tests that I should do, let me know about that too and uh, keep up with it. This actually isn't even my car, this is a family car that we just use to uh, tow trailers and stuff. I drive a 1964 Falcon, so all of this uh, electronic stuff is kind of foreign to me, the computer system stuff. So again, um, any help is much appreciated and thank you.